guys and welcome to my brand new booktube channel. This is the first time I've tried making a booktube channel and I thought I would start off for you today by filming a book tour. Except I've just moved house. So right now what you see is an empty bookshelf. now has books on it. Okay, we're starting up here and my tripod is balanced very precariously and my bookshelf is too tall. This is me reaching as high as I possibly can. So, here we go. I'm considering my entire shelf at the moment a to be read because I don't remember, apart from a few of these, which ones I've read and which ones I haven't and what they were like. So I'm planning on rereading all of them and hopefully at some point doing a review on all of them. We have Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb with this beautiful, beautiful purple fabric hardback cover. It's most of the reason I bought this. Working with Dragons, A Course in Dragonology by Ernest Drake. Next we have my set of beautiful dragon tarot cards, which I will show you more of if you like. Um, usually kept together by this little ribbon, which I'm going to have to retie at some point. Or Is That Just Me by Richard Hammond. Autobiographical, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Pickle, The Royal Diaries of Elizabeth I, Red Rose of the House of Tudor by Catherine Lasky, The Incredible Journey by Sheila Burnford. I have to hold this because it won't stand up, but this is just a plain blank purple journal that I happen to have stacked there. I have to hold these as well. Uh, two recipe books that I won't show to you in detail, but there are more recipe books later which I will also skip. Just know that I have a lot of recipe books. Unseen by Paul Jennings. The Colour of Love by Kyo Ueda. Ancient Greece in Film and Popular Culture by Gideon Nisbet. Okay, on to a slightly easier to reach shelf and my favourite books. Alana the First Adventure by Tamora Pierce. First book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet. In the Hand of the Goddess. The second book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet. The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, the third book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet. Lioness Rampant, the final book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet. Okay, we're just going to assume these are all by Tamora Pierce until I say otherwise. So this is Wild Magic, the first book in the Immortals Quartet. The second book in the Immortals Quartet, Wolf Speaker, I have a copy of somewhere, and since we've moved, or since before we moved house, it went missing and I have yet to relocate it. So I have space left for when it appears, but it's not here yet. The Emperor Mage, the third book in the Immortals Quartet. Realms of the Gods, the final book in the Immortals Quartet. The Magic in the Weaving, book one of the Circle of Magic. The Power in the Storm, book two of the Circle of Magic. The Fire in the Forging. Book three of the Circle of Magic. And the final book in the Circle of Magic Quartet is The Healing in the Vine. So now we're on to the Protector of the Small Quartet with First Test, Page, Squire, and Lady Knight. And now we have the Circle Opens Quartet with the first one being Magic Steps, then Street Magic, Cold Fire, and Shatterglass. Then we have the Trickster's Duology with Trickster's Choice, and Trickster's Queen. Will of the Empress, which is not in a series, you could call it a standalone except for the fact that it goes with the two circle quartets that I have shown you already. Then we have the Becca Cooper trilogy, with the first one being Terrier, then Bloodhound, and then Mastiff, which doesn't want to stand up on its own. And the final Tomorrow Pierce book that I own, which also does not wish to stand on its own, is Battle Magic, which is another standalone that fits with the circle series. Now, on to another author. The Final Empire, Mistborn Book 1 by Brandon Sanderson. The Well of Ascension, Mistborn Book 2 by Brandon Sanderson. The Hero of Ages, Mistborn Book 3 by Brandon Sanderson. 
I forgot to mention that this is the Mistborn Trilogy. And the last book on this shelf, my very pretty edition of The Hunger Games. Complete with gold spy uh, pages. Complete with gold pages. The Dark is Rising Sequence by Suzanne Cooper. This is a quintet, and the first book is Oversea Under Stone. Book two is The Dark is Rising. Book three is Green Witch. Book four is The Grey King. And book five is Silver on the Tree. Then we have Thieves of the Blood, Blade of the Flame book one by Tim Wagoner. And I have no idea how many of these there are because this is one that my mum picked up for me as a sell-off from our local library. And unfortunately, as you can see, the pages have become unattached, so I may have to look into getting those glued back on. Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Marillia. I believe this is the first in a set of either three or four. It's definitely the first. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the first book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. And if you don't know that by now, you should. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Please pretend that you didn't just see that these three books were in the wrong order the entire time. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So you think you know Harry Potter? This is not an official Harry Potter quiz book, but I got it when I was younger and I love it anyway. The Magical Worlds of Harry Potter, a treasury of myths, legends, and fascinating facts by David Colbert. This is also not an official companion to the Harry Potter series. Pure Dead Magic by Debbie Gliori. There's at least six books in this series and I need to find the rest of them and cars need to stop driving away while I'm filming. Now, don't ask me to tell you what books go in what series with these ones, because I'm actually not sure. But we have Magician by Raymond E. Feast. Silverthorn, A Darkness at Sethanon, Rise of a Merchant Prince, and Shards of a Broken Crown. And the last one I own by Raymond E. Feast is Rides a Dread Legion. And here we have The Classical World by Robin Lane Fox, A Brief Guide to Classical Civilization, by Stephen Kershaw. The Iliad by Homer. The Fall of the Roman Republic by Plutarch. Lives of the Later Caesars. The Three Theban Plays, Antigone, Oedipus the King, and Oedipus at Colonus by Sophocles. The Histories by Herodotus. The Odyssey by Homer. The Orestian Trilogy by Aesiclus. Excuse my pronunciation, that's probably just completely mangled that poor person's name, but I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Making the Grade, the third edition, which is basically a book about spelling and grammar and things. It's an English book that I had for one of my uni subjects in the past. How to Think About Weird Things, Critical Thinking for a New Age, by Theodore Schick Jr. and Lewis Vaughan. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And as you can see, this one has a bookmark in it, and you'll find out why in my next video. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire. And I believe there's a third one in the series that I don't have, which is about the lion. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Heat Wave by Richard Castle. Basically, if you haven't heard of the TV series Castle, go check it out. But um, the main character in that is an author called Richard Castle, and what the show has done is they've created novels that are what he would be writing as the series progresses. So this is the first of those. Fantasy Lover. Night Pleasures. Night Embrace. Dance with the Devil. Night Play. Seize the Night. Unleash the Night. Dark Side of the Moon. The Dream Hunter. Devil May Cry. Upon the Midnight Clear. Dream Chaser. Acheron. One Silent Night, and Bad Moon Rising. That's the last of the Dark Hunter series books that I own from Cheryl and Kenyon. And there's one book from another series. And that book is Born of Night from the League series. And finally for the shelf we have Aragon. Subasa, Volume 1 by Clem. We also have Volume 2 and Volume 3. Kingdom Hearts 2, Volume 1 by... Oh, adapted by... Shiro Amano. High School Girls by Toa Oshima. 
Fruits Basket, Volume 1 by Natsuki Takaya. Negima, Master Negi Maji, Volume 1 by Ken Akamatsu. Legal Drug, Volume 1 by Clamp. We also have Legal Drug, Volume 2 and Volume 3. And there was meant to be a fourth volume in this series, but unfortunately it never got released and at this point probably never will. And then we have Angel Sanctuary by Kaori Yuki. And this is volume one. Volumes two and three, one of my friends bought, so I never actually purchased them myself, so now there's a missing gap which I need to fill in my series. And we have volumes four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Sabriel by Garth Nix, the first in what I believe is called the Abortion Trilogy. Lyriel, the second book in the trilogy, and as it says on the top of this one, I was wrong. It is actually the Old Kingdom Trilogy. And Abortion, the third book in the trilogy. Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, the first in the His Dark Materials Trilogy. The Subtle Knife, book two in the trilogy. And book three, The Amber Spyglass. Then we have The Windsinger, which is the first book in the Wind on Fire trilogy by William Nicholson. And I have Fire Song, which is the third book in the trilogy. I'm missing Slaves of the Mastery, which is the second one. Then we have Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Doom White by Brian Jacques. Malfox. Moss Flower. And Lord Brock Tree. Then we have The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. And Angels and Demons, also by Dan Brown. Then we have two books from the Game of Thrones series by George R.R. R. Martin. A Feast for Crows, which is, I believe, the fourth one, and A Dance with Dragons, which is, if that's the fourth, then it's the fifth. Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, book one of the Wheel of Time series, which I believe has 13 novels, but I can't be sure. The Wounded Garden by Duncan Lay, and this is book one of the Dragon Sword Histories, which I believe has three books. And Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett. And we're on to the final shelf. Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. Eldest by Christopher Paulini. And I showed you Aragon earlier. I think I forgot to tell you who it was by. And um, I don't have the third book in the series. Or possibly the third and fourth. I can't remember how many there are. The Iron Dragon's Daughter by Michael Swanwick. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, also by Mark Twain. The Chambers Biographical Dictionary, edited by Magnus Magnusson. Triss, my other Red Wall book by Brian Jacques. The Spycatchers, the official history of ACO 1949-1963 by David Horner. For those who are interested, ACO is the Australian Secret Service. Dan Brown, the Lost Symbol. The Film Encyclopedia, the complete guide to film and the film industry by Ephraim Katz with Ronald Dean Nolan. The Daily Life of the Ancient Greeks by Robert Garland. The Daily Life of the Ancient Romans by David Matz. Projecting the Past, Ancient Rome, Cinema and History by Maria Wyke. And finally, this one in here, Final Theory by Mark Alpert. So I hope you guys enjoyed my book tour. And if you could leave me a comment letting me know which books I'm missing from series or which ones are out of order, or maybe leave me some suggestions for what books to add to my collection. And I will see you in my next video on Wednesday, which will be my February TBR. Thanks for watching, guys!